Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome back to Country Cut Show. Uh, I'm way up here. Anyway, uh, early Saturday morning, got to get out here in my shop, get ready to work. But before I start my work, I think to start building some lap steels. I'm going to do a video for Alan Beck. Hey, Alan, I told you I'd do it. Now, what we going to do, I'm going to cut a nut for a lap steel guitar and tell a little bit about the nut file and I'm going to demonstrate how I would get this flat leveled across while the strings are on it because I've often talked about you don't want to arch or curve when you're playing steel guitar because your tone bar is flat and you want it flat and so I start off with a flat nut but anyway I make my nuts out of aluminum extrusion I think Alan said he got a piece of brass you can use bone or anything it's just important the way you file them because your strings go from a small string up to a large string so, with further ado, I'm going to cut you off and I swing around and show you what we got this morning. So, stand by. All right, like I said, it's Saturday morning about 7, well, I'm about 7.30 by now. And as you can see, I got a real good fog going on across the field out there. So, there's the uh, there's old sunshine trying to come up through my trees I call them trees the twin towers I got a better view from the back porch of them but anyway you see the sun coming up you see the fog looking across the backyard let me take you around here hang on and we're gonna swing around let you see down in the woods how just how foggy it really is if there's any deer out there you couldn't see them this morning could you They'd hide real good in that fall. All right, probably today's a good day for turkeys to ramble. So we'll get back to cutting on the old nut there. So let's go back to the video. Thank y'all for stopping by. Well, hello, welcome back. Okay, cutting a nut for the lap steel guitar. The first thing you want to do, of course, is cut your nut, this is a fretboard, one of my fretboards that I made. Anyway, you cut the nut the size of the fretboard, you don't want it uh, a whole lot, you know, sticking out, and you don't want it too narrow. Now, I will say this on the, uh, the nut can be a uh, hair smaller on this end than on the bridge but not much. Anyway, to help me get all this stuff done in a timely manner, what I done right here, you can see it. I took an old, uh, actually a Zaxby's gift card, and I've got, if you see the marks, see the red marks? There's some more right there. There's some. And there's some on the bottom. Well, I marked them off according to the bridge that I'm using on the other end. Now, so here's what I'm doing. I'm trying to get this in the camera. If you'll see, I'm going to zoom in a little more. I think we can see better now. All right. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that gift card and I'm going to hold it up back. And then I'm going to line these up. And I'm going to come across here with a pencil and make my marks. All right. Now, see what I got there? There we go. Got that bad boy marked off. Okay. I'm making this nut here for a right-handed guitar. So, that means that the right side over here has to be smaller and the right side has to be larger because of the way the strings are. And I put a 52 or a 40 something string all the way down to a, I believe I use a 13 on the bottom. What I use is the heaviest set of strings I can get. And I try to find the uh, strings that's uh, 
not like the uh, Dobro acoustic strings, but the steel style strings. Because I don't want to hear no zig zig zoop zoop when I'm moving my bar. I want it to flow nice. Now, I'm not using flat wounds because they just sound too dead. Anyway, cutting a nut. And I want you to look real close. I hope you can see this right here. Let's see. Yeah, see that file? See how it's small and gets larger? And you can buy these files at any hardware store, Home Depot. Uh, they just a little miniature. In fact, there it is, H HDX, right there on it. That's a Home Depot miniature rat file, I guess you could call it. But anyway, what I start doing, and I always do have my nut bolted down either on my lap steel or on this piece of pine. So I start cutting the nuts and I'll go ahead on all of them and just get a little slot started and I'm filing flat across right now. Yeah, boy, you hear it digging in, can't you? Okay, now that I've got it started to use this, I don't want my strings going down in there deep. I want my strings setting up on top of the nut where when I take my tone bar and I go across the top of that nut out into the headstock, which I don't hardly ever do, but it's nice for what I call slide in. I want them strings sitting on top of this nut. I don't want them down in the saddle. And also down in the saddle, if you play a guitar, you know what that'll create. It's called uh, fret buzz. All right, but anyway, cutting these nuts. This is very important. When you cut them, you use a little end on the little string, but roll it up. See how I'm rolling up? And you don't want that nut sharp or that piece of where you file it. You want it rounded off. So what I do is turn that file up and I move it while I'm filing, just like that. Cause that string, when you put it on that guitar, it's gonna be at an angle down. And it's going down into your uh, tuners. And you don't want no sharp edge right there cause it can cut a string. So do that all the way across the board. And as you go to the left, if you're making a right-handed guitar, this is my right, and that's my left. Get deeper, and you can come back up here and use the bigger, fatter end of the file on these. And I'm, I do the same thing right here, all the way across the board. And I'm looking at them and to make them get flat. And I know that's the most important of this question. How do I make them where they flat? All right. I make this one deeper. And then every one of them on this end comes up gets more shallow. All right. When I do put my strings on the guitar, I tighten them up. I don't care if it's in tune or not, I just want them tight and I'll lay my tone bar over there. If I got a string that's sticking up higher, I just go loosen that string, pull it back, hit it a few licks with that file, put it back on, tighten it a little bit, check it again. It's trial and error. Alright, now, once you get that in and round it off over here, you do need to turn it. And then I like to do that. I want the other end round. I want that thing rounded. I, I don't want no sharp edges. Not on the back side or the front. So all this is hand work. I don't know any other way to do it. But by hand, it's been working many years for me. When you're making your curve, keep the file moving. Keep the file moving.
Now, I've done this so many times, I can nearby eyeball these and tell. There's one right there. I can eyeball them and tell from what I just did if the string's going to be level anyway. But that's because I've done hundreds of these things. But anyway, that's the basics of making a nut file, bolt it down to a piece of board where you can work with it, be sure to measure it off good, get it even, balanced out, any kind of card, piece of cardboard, pl I like plastic, it's, and make sure your nut is close to the same size as your fretboard. See? There you go. My fretboard will be up there. I haven't got no frets in it. Anyway, Alan, I do hope that helped you. And I hope you have a great, wonderful day out there. And this Saturday morning, I'm going to swing you back up. Remember all the fog? Well, look at him. It didn't take long. And I've just started the video. That fog's just about gone now. The sun's coming up. We'll go swing around here. We don't need to put the camera in the sun blind anybody. But Anyway, that right there is my pecan sorting out station and bagging up. See how pretty everything looks down there now? You can actually see into the woods. All right, I hope everybody has a great Saturday. I'm meant to get out here in the shop and actually start building some lap steel guitars for y'all. So everybody have a great day. Country cuss.